The human heart beats at 70 times per minute on average, but at any second, it could come to a complete stop. In America and around the world, heart disease is the number one killer. But medical advancements in adult stem cell therapy might offer a second chance for patients suffering from coronary artery disease, cardiomyopathy, and congestive heart failure. What I see in the future stem cells is that it's going to revolutionize the way that we treat chronic disease in the world. Therabite is the company that produces a product known as Vessel, which is a product made from adult stem cells. Vessel is being used by cardiologists and vascular surgeons to treat heart disease for no option patients. For many patients, these procedures offer a newfound hope for survival. If there was any uh, latent concern, it was buried so deeply because I was so thrilled to get on a plane and, and have a chance to survive. This is like a last, last chance. And if, if you can make the trip and get there and everything and follow the rules and the treatment afterward and stuff, you got a good chance. But, you know, you're not guaranteed anything. Join us as we share the heartfelt stories of five incredible individuals who were given a new lease on life. I honestly feel that if I had not done this, I wouldn't be here today. Hello and welcome to Wealth on Health. I'm your host, Mark Fontes. In this edition, we'll go inside one of Bangkok's heart hospitals. Doctors there are performing miracles with Vessel, which is a product of multiplied adult stem cells. The biotech company Theravite opened their doors in 2003. They used adult stem cells to treat end-stage heart patients. As defined by several leading medical journals, adult stem cells are undifferentiated cells found throughout the body that divide to replenish dying cells and regenerate damaged tissues. Stem cell research in the United States is currently in the trial phase, which makes it illegal for patients to receive the therapy outside the clinical trials. And with strict guidelines set out by the FDA, only a select few make it into study programs for adult stem cell therapy. Many patients are forced to take finding a cure into their own hands. We don't use the stem cell as a first line of treatment. No, we absolutely don't do that. We only treat people who gone through the medical treatment, surgical treatment, device treatment, and after all of those, it does not help them. So those people only have two options left. One, to be transplanted, or two, dead. The chief cardiothoracic surgeon of Bangkok Heart Hospital, Dr. Kit Arom, broke down the medical process for us. As far as the heart is concerned, we give two routes. One is the direct injection into the heart by e use a scope, use a robot, or use a small incision. Or the other route, we inject through the catheter via the groin. Before the heart procedure can be done, a half pint of blood is drawn and sent to Israel, where the adult stem cells are separated from the blood, and they are trained, multiplied, and then returned to the hospital. As adult stem cells can certainly be replicated, and as we've proven, we produce far more than the heart needs, and the bloodstream carries some away to try to do some good somewhere else. Though the treatment can be fairly pricey, no price is too high when it comes to staying alive. American cardiologist Zanos Grekos was very skeptical about the procedure. So he traveled to Bangkok to see what the science entailed. Uh, and I went and I just had a great experience um, and was very, very impressed with the potential for stem cell treatment in the cardiac patients. Now involved with the Theravide company, Dr. Grecos helps terminally ill heart patients physically prepare for the trip to Bangkok with his Rio Genocide clinics. Any medical procedure has risks. The patients have strict guidelines to follow after they finish the therapy. Though there is an uncertainty about these procedures, these risks are minimal compared to the other options. The future for stem cells is endless with possibilities. Research is key to what can and can't be cured with these cells. Stem cells are something that are going to be so widely available and so widely used that it's going to absolutely revolutionize the way that physicians treat patients and their diseases. Coming up next, we meet with several patients who were given a second chance at life. Hear their remarkable stories when Wealth on Health returns. <laughs>